What is up guys? Welcome back to Palmetto Fishing Videos. Today I'm going to be running y'all through how to fish my new favorite fish catching machine. It is an amazing bait and it works so well. So guys, this is the Power Bait Berkeley Mouse Tail right here. And it's about an inch and a half long and it's in pink bubblegum flavor. Pink bubblegum color, I should say. But this bait is an amazing bait I've recently discovered. I've only used it once, but I had it sitting down in my tackle box and I decided to try it and it is dynamite. It works amazing for so many different kinds of fish. Since I've only fished with it once, I've never caught a bass on it or anything, but it, it looks like such an amazing bait for catching panfish like bluegill and shell cracker and all that. But a few days ago, I filmed a crappy fishing video with it where I absolutely tore the crappy up. I caught, in my local smaller lake, I caught a 12 inch crappy and multiple nice eight inch crappy and they just couldn't resist it. Right now I'm gonna roll the clips of what that bait looks like underwater. It is just amazing. It has the best action ever. So let me run those clips right now. But guys, as y'all can see, this bait twitches along the bottom and it just slowly sinks and you can just pick it up off the bottom and let it float down. And now this bait is a floating bait, which means that obviously it's gonna float but what I like to do is I like to hook a jig head, a very, very lightweight jig head, like a one in 100 ounce jig head. And I like to just lightly thread that through just till it's on the hook perfectly. Very light, just enough to slowly sink it down so that you can really have some amazing action because what happens guys is that jig head will sink the head of the bait down to the bottom, but then that little long wispy tail will float upwards and it'll just have the most amazing action in the world. Now let me show y'all the setup and how I'm gonna be fishing this bait and what I'm gonna be using to fish it with. So guys, we have right here, it's a about a three foot ultralight, very small, very whippy, super light action, just extremely flexible. And I have on here a four pound test and now sometimes I would use two pound test um, especially when targeting crappy and bluegill when they're not around structure and you don't have to yank them out too much. If there's not much structure around, two pound line can be an amazing choice just to be able to have fun and really feel that fight as well as you know not spook them if they're a very line shy fish, which crappy and bluegill typically are not, but trout however can be. So I have a very light action rod. It's a Zebco rod with a Sienna reel. And I have four pound test on here, like I mentioned. Now, right here, this is what the bait looks like. I have a little tiny black trout magnet hook and I have it just lightly threaded on there. And now what's gonna happen, guys, is this bait, it's gonna, you can just imagine, it's gonna fall down. And when it's gonna land, it's gonna land because the, the bait right here, this part of it floats but then the weight is not gonna float. So it's gonna land just like this, and that tail is gonna float right up like that and dangle around like that. And if you just lightly twitch that and pick it up off the bottom, it is completely irresistible to almost any fish. So guys, that is how we're gonna fish this bait. Now, today I'm not targeting crappy, but we do, however, have perfect conditions for any kind of fish, really, at that local lake. We have very overcast skies. We've had a drizzle of rain for the last few hours and it has been raining for days and it is not done yet. We still have a lot more rain for the next few days, but this kind of condition can be amazing for catching big bluegill, big crappie, big bass at your local lakes. It can just be amazing. So guys, without further ado, let's get out on the water and we're gonna see if we can't catch really anything that wants to bite. So let's get out there guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. Here we go. Okay guys, first spot of the day. Now there are two things that makes this spot so special. Number one, there's a little spillway, so there's a slight bit of outflow current 
which attracts bait fish and all kinds of different fish. So that just really attracts them. And then number two, I'm not gonna get too close because I don't want to spook anything. But number two, right over there, that little hole in the side there, you have a point here and you have that hole right there and it drops off right in the middle. So it actually gets to 10 or 15 feet deep right here. And it's not a deep lake, so that can really hold good fish. And one time I caught like eight crappie in that one little hole right there. So we're gonna get all set up and make our first cast. With this nice, now this may be terrible ugly weather, but for fishing, it is amazing. So we're gonna see what we can do and hopefully we can catch something nice. Anything will hit this little mouse tail worm imitation. Whoa, nice fish. What is that? A good bluegill maybe? Well, he ran with it really hard, but now he's not fighting that much. He ran with it real hard. That's a decent fish. That's not a bad one. Guys, he ran with it so hard, I thought a big old bass just inhaled it. But I mean, look at that. That's not too bad. It's about seven inches. Not terrible. I thought a big old bass inhaled it because that thing started like running real hard, but nope, just a bluegill. Just the old ferocious bluegill. As y'all can see guys from that one fish and those other bites I had, see how that is all ripping up already. Very delicate bait. That's the only real problem with it that I have. It just rips so darn easily. So yeah, we'll see if we can't get something really good out of this hole and then we'll try us another spot. Whoa. That was a big old bluegill and he launched out of the water. That was weird. Another bluegill. Not a very big one. He's pulling a little bit though. Not a terrible fish. Oh, that's it. I try to be careful with my fish, but that one just, uh, that guy had a hard fall. Look at that gorgeous fish though. Y'all see the, the beautiful colors on there? That is gorgeous. See if he'll swim away well. He had a bad fall. Oh yeah, he's fine. He's got plenty of spunk in him. Just got the air knocked out of him for a second. He'll be good. Bluegill are some of the hardest fighting pound for pound fish in the world. And they are tough. I just love bluegill, especially when you get into the, into the real big boys, like the one pounders or the half pound bluegill or shell cracker. You got a fight on your hands then. Okay guys, let's go find us another spot, shall we? See if we can't get something else. He ran me straight up into a log and then just popped off. I didn't know what was going on. Good fish. I think we got a warm mouth, guys. Like I predicted. Feels like one. Yep. Nice warm mouth. Really nice warm mouth. Oh, dude, this might be a personal best. It might be a personal best. Come here. That's what was messing with us down there. Woohoo! 
Look at that big fat boy. Dang, dude. Look at that big old fat sucker. I wouldn't say that's a personal best, but it's definitely close. Wow. Look at that big old mouth. Gorgeous fish. That's a big old fat sunfish right there. Y'all see the belly on that bad boy? That's a pretty fish. Those are definitely one of my favorite fish in the whole world. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And they fight real hard. Get on out of here. There he goes. There we go, guys. That ain't a bad fish. Second species of the day. It's been a little slow today with all this rain. Water's a little murky. Y'all can see it's pretty much like chocolate milk. Well guys, I know that y'all can barely see me right now. Y'all probably can't even see me. You can just see the outline of my face. But it is getting very dark now and my cameras especially are not picking up the light very well. So I'm gonna head home guys and go hang out and relax, take a shower, eat some food and just get out of here for a while and probably tomorrow morning i'm gonna hit it again i'm gonna be out catfishing tomorrow morning hopefully but that is not what's important guys today we went out and i showed y'all how this bait that i've recently discovered is an amazing bait for catching so many different species of fish we didn't catch any bass and we missed a couple other kinds of species but we caught warmouth crappy um shell cracker bluegill so that is a pretty good spread of fish just for a few hours, you know, especially after all this rain and the terrible weather we've had. So I want to say, guys, thank you so much for watching and just being with me while I explore God's beautiful creation. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.